hey you guys how are you all i hope you're all having a blessed and a wonderful day so today i'm going to be doing the tmi tag oh my goodness i've had absolutely so much fun watching the tmi tags here on youtube and i was so glad when i saw that um Miriam jocelyn um whom i did a collaboration with of, of recent tagged me i was really really happy because I, I was actually thinking of doing it but i wasn't too keen like so that motivated me literally so today i'm gonna be doing the tmi tag the tmi tag <laughs> okay so let's get straight into this too much information tag um i had so much fun in fact i had a laugh watching miriam jocelyn's on so if you haven't watched it make sure you go over to her channel and watch it and um yeah so i'm gonna get straight into it i'm going to be answering the 50 questions i know um miriam answered only 20 questions that she wanted but i just thought why not i might as well have fun because these questions they go really fast on day so let's get straight into it <laughs> So the first question says, what are you wearing? Okay, so I'm basically wearing this jumpsuit, which is from Next. And it's just a very big and, um, I mean, baggy and long jumpsuit. You definitely can't see the end, unfortunately, but it's extremely long, you know, long to the point where you have to wear it with heels. And I've just paired it with this belt um, also from... Dorothy Beckins and I have this accessories with it which I think I got from Primark about two years ago and I just have my basic jewelry so it's just this jumpsuit very comfy and very nice as well so that's what I'm wearing <laughs> the next the next question says I ever been in love maybe <laughs> next question um, ever had a terrible breakup no, I haven't because the relationships I've been in have been all very lovely. So I've not had any breakup. And having said that though, I've only been in one relationship that ended. So yeah, and it wasn't a terrible breakup. So no, I haven't. Um, ever had, oh, how tall are you? Sorry. How tall are you? I'm I'm five foot. I was about to say six foot. <laughs> I wish. I am five foot four. Yeah. Um, the next question. Any tattoos? No. Any piercings? My baby one, which is the one I got since you know my birth. And, um, OTP. Uh, I don't know what this means. I remember there was a tag, one of the tags that I watched that actually answered this question, but oh, I forgot to get the meaning. So I don't know what OTP means. Um, no, I don't know what OTP means. Sorry, guys. So I'm going to skip that question. Um, favorite show? Favorite show? It used to be Benefit Street, Street. but it didn't go on for so long. It was just for a while. It was just about this... Um, People, uh, set of people that live on a particular street and they live basically on benefits they don't work they don't do anything i just found it quite interesting to know but it was just for a while like i said and it ended mm, oh i used to love desperate Housewives, but i haven't seen it in a long long time i think it's ended now but i didn't really follow it sequentially let's just say i am not a faithful show girl i don't really keep up with shows like that i'm not that faithful so let's just say no show nicely um favorite band oh it has to be kirk franklin's band oh lord it's a gospel band in case you don't know kirk franklin has a but do i call them a band or a group whatever kirk franklin and his singers um something you miss something i miss i don't think i miss anything something i miss hmm. i don't miss it i don't miss anything yeah don't miss anything um favorite song 
favorite song? Oh, mm. I can't determine. Okay. At the moment, there is a song by Kirk Franklin called I Am, and then there is another one called Moments. So it has to be one of those two. But I think I Am is like really deep. It's, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so I like I Am. That's my favorite song at the moment. How old are you? How old do I look? <laughs> Zodiac sign, it's Scorpio, because I am I was born in November, but I don't believe in it. So yeah, but that's my Zodiac sign anyways. Um, quality you look for in a partner. God fearing. Um, Favorite quote, it has to be fearfully and wonderfully made. Nothing better than that. Jesus has said it so good. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. So nothing, nothing in this world can bring you down. Nothing. Not even those very terrible words. Yeah, so that's my favorite quote and it's from the Bible. Favorite actor? Uh, my favorite actor would have to be. Whew, favorite actor. I think it would have to be Denzel Washington. Yeah, he would. Hands down, that guy owns it. I mean, he's so of age, but. Oh, he still holds it down. Yeah, so that's my favorite actor. Um, Favorite color? Uh, favorite color would have to be, I think it's red. But I like cream. There's something so subtle about cream. Red is nice, but cream will do. Yeah, I think definitely cream. Cream is my favorite color. Cream. Cream or ivory or champagne, you know, something in that light. Um, loud or soft music? Both. I like it very loud and then hippie and then do, 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 do. and then suddenly I just come down Shh. ah it gets me both make sure of both um the next one is where do you go when you're sad the two places I go the first one I think I always reach out for first is my phone because I feel like talking to someone. I just want to let it all out. I want someone to just listen to me. But then sometimes, you know, you just find that people are ne not available. You might call someone and then you pick up their phone and, and then I'll just sit and start speaking to my spirit. And I just believe that is, I just tell God, like I just pour it out, all out to God. It might seem like I'm talking to myself, but, I just feel like it's pres there is a listening presence right there. I can't explain it, but yeah, that's where I go when I'm sad. How long does it take you to shower? Hmm. Okay, let's do this. There are three dimensions <laughs> to this. So weekdays, Monday to Friday in the mornings, I take 15, I mean, sorry, 10 minutes to, to have a shower. I think 10 minutes, 10 minutes max. I don't think it can exceed that. Even some days it might not be up to that. So 10 minutes max on a weekday morning. Weekday evening, I could take as long as 30 minutes, 40 minutes, God help me, maybe one hour. And weekends, you don't even wanna know. I could sleep in the shower. I love water and I love it very hot. So don't ask me. So yeah, that's how long I take in the shower. Uh, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Again, weekdays probably, again weekdays, sorry that was my phone. Again weekdays, um, probably 30 minutes in total to get ready and then weekend I just take as long as I want. Um, ever been in a physical fight? Yes, once in secondary school, but I was very young so and um, the girl beat me up big time. She whooped my ass. <clears throat> I am not a fighter, everyone knows, but I don't know what I was thinking that day. But yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Um, the next question is turn on a guy that just looks clean. Like, oh, I just like it when a guy looks clean, just clean. You just, you know, you don't even have to be so dressed up or anything, but you, you're just clean and you're presentable. Just clean is enough for me, you know. Yeah, turn off a dirty person. So, is it's two things. Proudly spoken guy, dirty outlook, so you have like mouth odor, body odor. Mm. The reason I joined YouTube. Okay, let me tell you guys the story. <laughs> so, um, in 2011, I was doing my masters and I started watching um, Beauty by JJ here on YouTube. If you don't know her, where have you been? <laughs> I'm sure you all do, you all know her. So, um, I was watching her and she used to do like different tutorials, not just makeup, outfit ideas. Um, I, I remember the first video I watched of her was how to tie a scarf. I think five different ways to tie a scarf. And I used to watch and just learn makeup techniques. I would watch Pixie Wu, I would watch her. Um, uh, I think there were, there were the two major people I used to watch them. I knew I had like a flair for makeup, but I wasn't particularly sure and because I was doing a masters I didn't have the logistics and the time to do that but gradually I would practice different things in my room and um, I used to get compliments regarding my outfits so I thought um, in 2000 and last year 2013 I felt like okay I could start up a YouTube channel show my outfit ideas you know do makeup videos because I felt like okay I'd gotten to a point where I could now do it to show people um, yeah so that's the reason why I started my YouTube I just felt like getting myself occupied and busy and, and I think I really started YouTube when I was out of work as well so I started that yeah I think it was just to get myself occupied and to also sort of keep you um showing what i can do but also learn continually learning as well sorry that's my phone again God. um anyways next question fears i don't have any fears i have worries but i don't have fears something can bother me but as long as i take it to god then i just allow it I just have to have faith and just allow it. Sometimes it might still come, keep coming back to me, coming back to my mind, but I just still say, you know what, whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen, that's it. I don't want to get to a point where I'm afraid. So I don't fear anything, I just worry. And as soon as I realize I'm worrying too much, take it to the Lord in prayer. Mm, hallelujah. <laughs> Next question, um, the last, thing that made you cry. The last thing that made me cry was um, a few weeks back I had to withdraw from a group that uh, I was a part of and it was really difficult for me because everyone in the group are like my close friends and I was just really sad to be leaving and um, but I had to do it for my own personal reasons so I had to withdraw from the group so I, I didn't know I was gonna tear up and I got home and I just broke down and I cried and I said God Argh! so yeah that's the last thing that made me cry but that was it that was like a few weeks ago but before that I don't remember the last time I cried for anything last time you said you loved someone last time you said I loved someone I think it was yesterday or or it, either yesterday or I think it was yesterday yeah yesterday um, meaning behind your YouTube name right my YouTube name is um, form by Adequiju. Adequiju is my name and form is the name of my makeup business which is fearfully is coined from the big blip of um, scripture which was my favorite quote as well fearfully and wonderfully made so that's where form comes from so form by Adequiju is just my business's name and by me yeah 
the next question is last book you read the bible guys i don't read books i'm, I'm so terrible with reading but i, I read the bible <laughs> i read the bible yeah the bible um the book you're currently reading the bible <laughs> last show you watched um the last show i watched i think it was um the last show i watched uh, um big bang theory yeah big bang theory um the last person you talked to The boyfriend i think so yeah the last person i talked to was my boyfriend um relationship between you and the person you last texted the last person i texted was the last person i texted was renee and she she's one of the girls in um, my church choir and she's a friend as well so yeah that's the last person i texted um favorite food oh noodles with spinach fresh fresh spinach i said fresh fresh <laughs> spinach um and boiled egg noodles um place you want to visit so I want to go to Dubai, Brazil, and Ghana. These are the three places that is currently on my list at the moment. Uh, the next question is, last place you were? The last place I was? At home, in my room. Yeah, I hope that's what you mean. Yeah, but that was the last place I was. Do you have a crush? Yeah. I'm not telling. <coughs> Last time you were insulted. I don't know. I don't know. Someone might have insulted me, but I didn't realize it was an insult. But I just never real realized. I feel it's an opinion if you insult me. It's okay. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't remember. Favorite flavor of sweet? Ooh! Lemon or lime? One of those two. Lemon or lime? I think lime. Mm, I think lemon. Lemon. It's lemon, definitely. Yeah, lemon. What instruments do you play? No instrument. I don't play any instrument. <laughs> I'm not musically inclined. <laughs> I don't play any instrument. Favorite piece of jewelry? I think it has to be my earrings. Thoughts? I I love them. I don't really like big earrings. And I just feel like once I have my earrings, I don't have to do all the necklaces, bracelets, rings, and all that business. I'm, I'm okay, I'm cool. Yeah, so my stud earrings. Um, the next question is, last pot you played? <clears throat> I don't play sports. <laughs> I don't do any sports, sorry. Sorry to bust your bubble. <laughs> Last song I sang. I am, I am, I am. How do you do? I am a sinner. Let's stop it there. Right. Favorite child line. I don't like child lines, but. I don't have a favorite of them because I don't like them. Have you ever used it? No, I don't like them even being used on me. So no. Last time you hung out with anyone? Last Friday? Yeah, la no, no, no. No, it wasn't. It was Saturday. Saturday, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hanging out with my friend, Juliet. She was over here. And then on Friday, I was hanging out with my friend Mary. She was over here. And then so, <laughs> earlier Friday evening, I was hanging out with the church choir, my friends in the choir. So yeah. But the last person I hung out with was Juliet, my friend. 
who should answer these questions? I tag every, every, everybody you should do these questions. They're very nice and fun to do. So if you have the time, I trust me, 50 questions will go so fast. It goes really fast. But I've enjoyed doing this and I tag everybody. As long as you're watching this video, you better get behind this camera and light and do this. Do it, do it, do it. Have some fun, relax. Yeah, let's get to know you too. Ha. Huh? Okay, so this is the end of my video. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. It's definitely getting all nice and lovely here in um, the UK. Uh, you know, we're only in spring, but it's getting so warm. We're having really sunny and bright days. I'm so excited for summer. Mm, mm, mm. So I can't wait to ditch all the jackets and the boots and bring out my you know what I mean. So guys, I hope you all have a blessed day and I love you all so much. Remain blessed and one more thing, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man can see the Lord. I love you all so much. Mwah.